Alright, welcome back to Retro Modern Gamers, and today we're live in the RMG studio, and today we're going to do a little review for you. The Evil Within, yes. The Evil Within, a great survival horror game on the PlayStation 4. Alright, let's get into it. Okay, developer Tango Gameworks. There you go, Tango Gameworks. Publisher, Bethesda Softworks. So, look at this game. A very, uh... Director Sunji Mikami, the guy, the man himself that made Resident Evil. This is very res. This is like what from what from I heard. This is what people said or a certain thing I said or read that this game is this game is what Resident Evil Five should have been. And in some cases, yes, and it is, should have been Resident Evil Five. Let's talk about the uh, the graphics. The graphics are pretty good on PlayStation 4. I actually like uh, the graphics are not pretty uh, good there for a certain for a different uh, consoles, so, but this is actually looks pretty goddamn good. And, and you have to upgrade your characters, aiming, his sprint, his health, his overall abilities in the game. You over upgrade his ammo stock. You upgrade any. You have to upgrade your. You have to upgrade a bunch of stuff in the game. You have to upgrade your weapons. You get guns later on. You get a, a a revolver, a shotgun, a grenade, a a sniper rifle, a shotgun, a harpoon weapon, and certain. You get some other stuff in the game. So all right. Released on Xbox 360, PC, PS3, Xbox One, and PS4. So. From what footage you're seeing is from the PS4 version, so. Jackie Earl Haley voices Ruvik, so. Jackie Earl Haley voices Ruvik, which Ruvik is a pretty good an antagonist, in, in, in my opinion. I find he's pretty good because it, Jackie Earl Haley as Ruvik is pretty good, but him as Freddy, Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy Krueger is just fucking stupid. He wasn't a good Freddy Krueger, but him as Ruvik wasn't, uh, wasn't too bad. He it, it, it wasn't butchering a horror movie legend like Freddy Krueger, so. That's all I have to say about that. All right. All right. The sound audio is pretty, uh, pretty good. So, got some very creepy horror music and actually pretty good. Some I'm on the sixth chapter and it's pretty fun. So, and you also use traps and stuff like that. You use traps to detonate. You blow. You defuse traps and stuff like that. But some of the traps can kill you. So. <laughs> All right, so the traps work in a the traps can work in your favor, and sometimes they can't work in your favor. So you have to play this game. You use matches in the game to set the set the enemies on fire. If you don't, but sometimes the enemies can. If you shoot the enemies not in the head, they can come back from the dead and uh, try to attack you. If you set them on fire with a match, they you burn their ashes and they're not coming back from the dead. So. That's how that mechanic works. All right. So the protagonist of the Evil Finn is veteran police detective Sebastian Calcianos. He's aided by his colleagues Judy Kimmen and Joseph o Ida Oda, uh, confronting the invisible appar the invincible apparition Ruvik while investigating the scene of a gruesome mass murder in Beacon Mental Hospital. Sebastian Joseph and Kidman encounter a, a malevolent powerful force because in this game it's pretty you got mirrors in there too you you go in mirrors you wake up in this like hospital kind of thing you you save your game in there so that's how that works and this game is very stingy with ammo very freaking stingy with goddamn ammo seriously it is the most that's how survival horror is it's very stingy with ammo it's not going to be like uh like mo like certain survival horror games where they give you a shit ton of ammo and there you go. This game is very stingy with it. You have to go around breaking boxes, killing enemies. You kill enemies, you get ammo from killing those enemies. So, there you go. The gameplay is pretty fr The gameplay plays like Resident Evil 4. It plays pretty well. It plays pretty good for Resident Evil 4. Once you upgrade your your aiming, your sprint, your health, 
it's all it's it's get it gets there and this is what I talked about in, in this review was you wake up in these in this little hostile area and you can save your game you can uh, upgrade your upgrade yourself you go on a chair you go on a chair you uh, we get like like a brain gel or something brain gel you you collect that from the enemies and collect that collect it from uh, breaking stuff so breaking little boxes so you collect that, you upgrade yourself, you upgrade your character in this game. The DLC that you get in this game is the assignment and the consequence. So that's two DLCs that you get with this game. So you get two DLCs and there's going to be another DLC coming out called The Executioner. Which is like a survival horror, f uh, like a wave mode based missions with the, execute the box guy from the Evil Finn. You get those. But the the DLC that the consequence uh, is pretty good. So all right, in Japan the game was released in Japan as Cycle Break, like uh, Resident Evil was released as Ball Hazard in Japan. And there's Ruvik, a little frigger. Get the fuck over here. Nope, didn't die. Moved out of time. So all right. <laughs> all right. There we go. And and they, like I like. This game is very freaking crazy with the with the creepy factor. So there are some levels, and there are in these guys right here with the mask, and that's what I have to do is burn them with the matches. So I I pretty much covered everything, covered mostly everything I needed to cover about this game. You get other weapons, you upgrade and stuff like that. Some of these enemies are pretty uh, crazy. Like in some chapters, you'll be fighting the chainsaw guy, and the chainsaw guy is freaking tough. He's really tough there. Trying to kill him with ammo in that there, he's really tough. Got he's really tough to kill. He's like really tough to kill. You. There's some instances I died trying to fight him, and the spider, the spider bitch. I'm gonna say she's tough too because you have to. Run around, burn her with fire, shoot barrels, and that there. And she's quite tough to the fight. So anyway, besides that, when I give the, I'm gonna give this game for for awesomeness on the PS4. I give this game an eight out of ten. So this is Killer J. See you guys later, and more reviews coming in the near future. Peace, guys. Bye.